the Year is the most prestigious award we hand out each year here at the PSA, and it is time to do that tonight. We have found our sportsmen and sportswomen of the year from all corners of the sports world. Their contributions are as varied as they are significant, but all have one thing in common. They have all inspired. Our sportsmen of this year certainly inspired. Inspired by making good on the considerable promise of an organization that dares to be better. Inspired by demonstrating through relentless commitment to excellence exactly what can be accomplished when talented people are dedicated to make the most of their talents. He was a product of that organization, that program, that school. He played college ball. He was a pitcher, a closer. In fact, his 1.99 earn run average his senior season still ranks 10th in UWF history. And his 1991 team his senior year won 40 games a school record that stood for 16 years until he had a hand in breaking it. He made a brief run in a professional career in the Cardinals organization, but he quickly discerned that coaching is where his great potential lay. He returned to UWF as a graduate assistant, then coached Alabama Southern for five years before returning to UWF as Jim Spooner's pitching coach. In 2005, he was tabbed to replace his mentor as head coach. His second team won 43 games, breaking that school record that his 91 team had set. But it was his sixth Argo team last spring that connected UWF to the Pensacola community as perhaps never before. Their national championship run has been thoroughly recounted tonight. But the competitive character they displayed, the charismatic performances in the NCAA tournament, engaged and inspired their community, and they were a direct reflection of the coach who guided their effort. In six seasons, he led the Argos to their first Gulf South Conference Championship and to their second and to their third. Their first NCAA tournament berth to their second and their third as well. And their first number one national ranking and last year's school record 52-win season. Also to their national title and to his National Coach of the Year honors. The PSA is proud to recognize as our Sportsman of the Year, UWF's National Coach of the Year, and NCAA champion, Mike Jeffco. speechless. Uh, the uh, part of something great at University of West Florida to be a Pensacola native. Uh, be actually standing up here before all my peers and people I've looked up to. Um, people that's helped me along the way. I see so many faces. Uh, I know I'm going to miss somebody if I don't, but I'd like to thank my wife Ginger for all her support and Keeping the family going with the three kids at home, it's probably tougher than handling my team. But uh, my mom and dad are here, uh, Mag, Kathy, Jeff, Good. I appreciate all their support and everything to get here to this point. Uh, the whole administration of UWF over here, and the coaches and sports staff, and Dr. Benz and Dave Scott and Megan and Tony and Jeff and Richard Berg that hired me and gave me the opportunity. Thank you. Uh, I just don't know what else to say other than I was fortunate enough to coach uh, a great group of guys that bought into being something special. And uh, all of us in this room have seen so many great things come out of Pensacola. And I think the one common ingredient is, you know, wanting to be uncommon. And uh, this town is known for a lot of special achievements. And it takes uncommon people coming together, you know, wanting to create special moments. And that becomes infectious. And uh, it reverberates throughout the city. And uh, to be a part of it tonight is just uh, amazing. And uh, I see Bill Hamilton gave me a start at PJC after I left Coach Spooner to spread my wings a little bit. 
wasn't far across town, but we still spread the wings some that we built. And uh, to be able to come back to EWF and, and continue on uh, the tradition that Jim Spooner created at EWF and, and now, uh, you know, Quinn Studer helping our program with the upgrades with the Pelicans being there and now we get to go down to the AA Stadium and Pensacola has a great tradition of baseball and I'm happy to be a part of it. Thank you.